Hey YouTube, it's Naya Nappy, and I'm back for another Tip Tuesday. So for this week, I'm gonna talk about five of the most common types of split ends and what they indicate about your hair, and then again, how we can prevent them in the future. So the most common split in is the Y split, or just the split. And this type of split means that the cortical of your hair is starting to become slightly damaged and is causing it to split open. So this type of split means that your hair is enduring too much manipulation. Maybe you're wearing your ends out all the time, they're getting dry, possibly rubbing against your, your, um, your clothes, or maybe you're always constantly doing your hair, styling your hair, rough styling, rough combing, or perhaps you are trimming your ends but you're not trimming them with sharp scissors. Maybe you're using dull scissors or you're using scissors that you use to cut everything else with. But you should really be using a sharp pair of scissors whenever you trim. And this can also be a sign that you're not trimming enough. So if you go through your hair and you see this, think about how often you're trimming and possibly add another trim schedule within that time period, okay? Additionally, you can help prevent those type of splits by adding moisture to your hair. That's also a sign your hair needs more moisture and to seal in that moisture, okay? So that's because it's a lot of manipulation in the air and the environment and your mechanical stressors are causing those ends to split. So make sure you're protecting your hair with a protective style, protecting it at night while you sleep, and of course, during the day when you're wearing your hair. So the second most common is the, the single strand knot. Now it's not quite a split at that exact point because it's actually one knot that's wrapped around itself, but generally what happens is when we start to comb our hair or manipulate our hair, they, our combs or our fingers get caught in those knots and that causes a lot of breakage and that can cause again that Y split that we saw in the first one. And the best thing we can do to try to avoid this particular knot that leads into a split is to keep our hair stretched and protect it in some type of protective style or updo. I know some naturals like banding. Some people will put their hair into twists and then stretch it by banding their hair. Keeping your ends separated, moisturized, and stretched will help prevent those type of knots. The third type of knot, and this was one of the knots that I actually suffered from the most, is um, incomplete splits or mid-shaft splits. And they're really hard to detect because you initially don't see them and they don't always happen at the bottom of your strand. A lot of times as their name called, they're like mid shaft somewhere. And this type of split happens whenever you're wearing your hair in a taunt style for a long time. So this was for me, this happened for me when I was wearing my puff constantly. I used to wear my puff for, <laughs> for I feel like for years, a puff or really tight bun. And the tension of wearing the headband, your hair tie on that section constantly can cause these type of um, mid-shaft uh, knots or mid-shaft splits. Also, you wanna be careful of using a certain types of bobby pins. You know sometimes when those bobby pins lose the little bulb at the end and you still try to stick and work with it, you can also be damaging your hair. So be careful with certain pins, with certain barrettes that can cause holes in your hair, in the middle of your hair. And those are the worst ones because a lot of times you have to end up cutting your hair above <laughs> wherever that mid shaft is so that the hole doesn't eventually split and open up, okay? So the next type of split is called the candle or like a taper, as you can see, as it heads towards the end of the hair shaft. As it ends toward the end of the hair shaft, it starts to get thinner. At this point, you can see that the tip of the hair has lost its outer cuticle and it is prime and ready for a split, okay? So unfortunately, it's not quite a split at that point, but it will split almost immediately if there's any type of manipulation or, or damage to that hair shaft. This type of particular split is usually the cause of heat damage or some form of chemical damage, so um, relaxers, um, straight uh, straighteners, certain types of straighteners, uh, any type of chemicals, dyes, colors to you, add to your hair can cause this type of damage. So what you wanna do is you really wanna focus on adding more protein to your hair to help build up the cuticle shaft or protect it while you're doing such damaging processes to your hair if you you know choose to, to color or you choose to add chemicals to your hair. And also means you must trim it off, okay? Because at that point, the cuticle is already damaged and you have to go ahead and trim it away. So the final one, I'm gonna give two of them and I'm gonna say it's the tree or the feather. 
and that means that the cuticle is really severely damaged and you have more than one split usually on one side it could be on both sides at this point you really really need to look at your hair care practices and find out what you're doing that is damaging your hair a lot of times that is again too much manipulation leaving your hair dry and not moisturizing your hair properly maybe you haven't figured out what products moisturize your hair properly um, if you want to learn more about high and low porosity hair and how to moisturize those click the video up here perhaps you have dry harsh weather and the wind is just causing a lot of breakage and damage to your hair this of course must be trimmed away but you know, we you gotta look at what you're doing to prevent that from happening. And generally by the time you get to the tree or the feathering, you have a ton of other splits. You probably have some of those other splits I mentioned, especially that, that wide split in your hair strand already. That means your hair is severely damaged. And if you don't know what you're doing, I recommend going to a salon and trying to figure out what you're doing and try to stop doing that, okay? All right, so you guys, the premise of this video is that all of these splits require trimming and that also require you to evaluate your regimen to evaluate how you're cleansing conditioning how you're adding protein treatments moisturizing trimming and sealing your hair sealing your ends after you moisturize them or after you do your trim is really important in helping you to stop with the same common split ends that you have and I can't stress enough, as I have always said recently in my videos, the importance of using a real protein treatment in your regimen. If you're looking for some protein treatment ideas that have protein and moisture and some that are just protein, I'll leave them down in the uh, description box down below for you guys. And also, of course, I just had to segue this and to say, find yourself a really good sealing oil. And of course, I'm gonna throw that in there because I am selling my stimulating Ayurvedic hair oil, which is great for the scalp, but also great for sealing your ends. And you can find that on the link on my blog. I'll attach that down below as well. And if you guys have any tips for anyone else who may be experiencing um, split ends, or maybe you overcome some type of really bad split ends in the past, and you, you, know, you now have something to offer to someone um, please leave that in the comment section. Okay, we're here for each other and that's it for this week's tip Tuesday Don't forget to check out my blog post where I have more information and I'll see you next time Bye